Hi guys, welcome back to Messy and Beautiful. I'm Sarah Jane. Thanks for joining me today for another video. Um, I'm setting up January in my Stalogy. Um, I've already planned out what I'm going to do, so hopefully this video won't be as long as my usual setups. Um, the first thing that I'm just going to show you is I've pulled a couple of stencils. These are from like a cheap bullet journal set of stencils um, from AliExpress, I think. I've had them for ages. I've pulled a piece of paper from the Dreamy Blues book from the works, cost me a quid. Um, I've pulled another piece of paper from this 6x6 pad from the range. I don't know if they still do this one, this one's years old. And then this one is a more recent one from the range and I have pulled out a sheet of paper. Um, so, let's get rid of those. Now I have decided what I'm going to do is just a case of getting stuck in. Um, I hope you're well. It is freezing in my shed. I'm going to try and do this one by staying on voice and stuff but I might need to put my heater on at some point so yeah it's freezing in here it's the middle of the day it's one of my days off to do whatever I like um while my kids are at school and nursery so what better way than to start it with planning um I am a week and a half behind in my stalogy already um I say behind I knew this was going to happen so I've got all my planning all my planning um on bits of paper um so that I can just transfer the information because I know what I'm like. I'm going to want the information in here and have a completed planner because I am that way inclined, right. So the first thing I'm doing is just trimming down a piece of paper for a background. I hope you guys are all okay and that New Year is being nice to you so far. I am very much enjoying my time on my own um, and spending lots of time in my shed and I feel like I'm starting to be able to think clearly again and I've got another couple of days of this as well um, which will be amazing. I am just going to trim. See all that fluff at the bottom? Try not to get it everywhere. The, um, and while I've been filming stuff for you guys, I've been binge watching Fool Me Once with Michelle Keegan and it's really good. It is really good. Um, it's my sort of story, like there's a mystery going on and you've got to figure out what's happening and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't have a tape runner. I need to get myself a tape runner. Pretty sure I must have a couple in the house somewhere. I just haven't found them yet. I'm just going to move that so I don't get glue all over my planner. Um, but yeah, so that's really what I've been doing is just setting up my planners and sitting in my shed and that sort of thing. Um, not a lot has happened since I've been filming my last one because of course I'm just sitting in my shed and filming video after video. So this might go up maybe next week. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I, I say I know what I'm doing. I've got a vague idea of what I'm doing. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I am still just kind of using my creative part of my brain, if you like, and making it up as I go along. One thing I'd love to know actually is what what do you do when you set up your months? Do you have like a system that you follow or do you do something different every month? Because um, I kind of follow the same system now, sort of got into a pattern of what I'm going to do. Um, but at the same time, like there's still that creative element to it. And I know some people only use like one kind of sticker or like what particular shops and stuff. But I love experimenting with all the different like shops that there are. I obviously have a few of my go to's. Um, but I, yeah, I just I really enjoy it. This is one of the parts for me that is just really fun. Um, the actual planning I'm not so great at. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully this year will be a bit different. So I've got this calendar from Happy Bees UK and then I've got my January from Marshmallow Studio Co. Um, I'll put you down there as well. And this one's from my shop. Um, it's from my advent calendar. I'm, I think I'm going to sell them without the overlay, if I'm honest, um, just so that some things in the advent were exclusive to the advent because otherwise 
I mean, it's going to be discounted, isn't it? The advent box was heavily discounted. But um, I haven't got around to uploading all my listings yet. So people are still waiting. For, well, I say people. So I, some people I know are still waiting for those. Not many, I don't think. But it's nice that I'm having people message me and ask me if the advent listings are going up. Because it means that I've done something right, doesn't it? That people actually want to buy. And I'm still really grateful for, like, every single sale, every person that watches a video, like, every time something's coming through on, like, notifications and stuff to say someone's left a comment or whatever, the, um, or, like, I've had an Etsy sale, I just get this little buzz and I'm like, oh, I hope that feeling never, ever goes away. I never want to take it for granted because, obviously, I'm still quite small in both respects. Um, and, but I'm just, yeah, so incredibly grateful I feel like now I've planned this out, this is going to take me a lot less time than what it would normally take me. Because um, I, th I think I said it in my last video, is that half of it is the decision making. Um, because the decisions, I'm a bit gutted that's got balloons on it, if I'm honest. I get it, it's Happy New Year. But the um, but yeah, most of it's the decision making of where you're going to put stuff and how it's going to look and all of that, that sort of thing. So I've kind of eliminated that part of the video, if you like. Um, which I know some people do like to see and I'm happy to do that in the future. It's just that I've got a lot to do. So I'm just trying to speed up the process a little bit. Um, I've lost my Cuthbert tabs as well. So when I find them, I'll be putting them in my Cuthbert tabs from Planaberry on my January page. But I also now have bookmarks that again came from my advent. I might overlap it. And then put some of this down the bottom. I can't remember where this tape is from. It might be the Paper Lobster or Planner Face or something like that. Genuinely cannot remember where I bought this tape from. And it's annoying me because it's one of those tapes that I really love. Um, I could probably go back and watch my whole videos to find out, couldn't I? Right, I'm not worried that that's sticking up because I'm about to do a tip in anyway. Um, and I'm going to tip in some of this vellum from Little Pencil Design. I have had this forever, like, I don't know, a year and a half or two years or something like this. I don't know if she, what she's got in her shop anymore or really what's happening because I know she had a baby um, last year or the year before. Um, but I love her stuff, so I am still using it. Um, and in the interest of using up my supplies that's got a little it's got a little bit damp i think at some point probably in my shed rather than being something that i was sent like that so i'm just going to trim that bit off because i need to trim the edges anyway um but i've chosen a couple of her vellums for this month i cheat i just try and kind of fold it around the book all day yeah that works So yeah, I know I keep going on about it. I'm excited for the SWPC event on Saturday. Um, what else have we got going on? Not a lot. Holly's got a really busy week at school because she's started gymnastics. She absolutely loves it. She's just like mucking about with her friends at this age. It's not actually gymnastics, you know. The, um, but that's fine because she's five. So makes no odds to me if she all she's doing is mucking about because as long as she's having fun, I don't really mind. The um, because that's what it's like when you're five, isn't it? It's what's important in life is having fun. Um, so yeah, she started that, and then she's obviously getting back into the school routine after Christmas, and she's absolutely exhausted. And they're doing like a movie night thing on Friday at the school, which is great, and the kids are going to love it. But at the same time, she's got swimming lessons on a Friday, so I'm like, right, you can go for half of it, but I'm picking you up, and you're going to your swimming lesson. I'm going to need some more of this tape as well. I think I'm going to run out. Um, but yeah, I'm like, you've got to go to your swimming lesson because I've obviously already paid for them and she's getting a life skill out of it. So however much I want her to have fun, at the same time, I'm like, you've already got commitments and I'm trying to teach her that it's important that you stick to your commitments. Um, you know, things like going to school, going to work, going to gymnastics and all this sort of stuff. And you can't just skip it because you don't feel like it. Cause that's, I don't think that's a good thing to like encourage particularly at her age she's really impressionable um 
and it kind of sets the standard for the rest of her childhood. So I'm like, you can go, but I'm picking you up early and you're going to your swimming lesson. And she's like, okay, mummy, that's fine. Like, I really want to go swimming. And she's really excited to go back to her swimming lessons. And at the same time, I'm like, you are going to be absolutely shattered on Friday night after all of that and the whole week that you've had. And then she's going to her grandparents on Saturday um, while I go to Lisa's for this SWP, SWPC event. Um, so I'm like, oh my God, she is going to be absolutely shattered on Sunday and she's going to be an emotional wreck because she's still of the age where she gets really upset, she gets really tired. And she was already a bit like that last night and it was only Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm just, oh no, Tuesday, sorry. Oh, I don't even know what day it is anymore, do I? So yeah, I'm a little bit like, what's she going to be like on Sunday? She can be absolutely exhausted. So I might just do like let's sit and watch a film and do some colouring at home sort of thing on Sunday just to give her a bit of a rest because I don't want to wear her out this early in the term either she's only just gone back to school right that is now tipped in my sellotape is never that flat I always have creases and stuff but I I'm over it like <laughs> I've been doing this long enough now that I'm over it right, where's that tape gone so I'm sort of trying to go for a bit of a wintry thing because I haven't really done the winter thing yet. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too heavily winter based. Um, and I am dropping a page from my setup. So you might remember if you've seen me before the like health tracker page where I track my habits. Um, I'm not doing like a full grid of that anymore. I think what I'm going to do is just incorporate it into my daily spread um, just because I'm more likely to remember to do it. Now, I have just used this girl, but I saw someone else do this on Instagram with these kits. Um, so this is like a washi mini kit, um, again, from my shop, and it's on washi paper, so it's nice and thin. But I saw someone layer these up, which I thought was a really cool idea to make it look like it was like snowy mountains. I might do that one too. I don't know how she did it, but I'm just experimenting with my own stickers. And I'm gonna get some scissors and I'm gonna trim off the end. So yeah, these are coming. These are like intended to be one page mini journal kits essentially. Um, and they're on washi paper because I know a lot of people use the like notebook style planner these days. So they prefer to have like the thinner stickers. So they don't bulk up your planner so much. Probably should have put that one on, on the top of the other one because it's a bit darker. But I didn't think about that when I did it. Um, so, yeah, but I help myself to like all the oops out of my shop because I don't, you know, I, I make so many of them and I have so many oops stickers. But I'm really proud of this artwork as well. So. I'll put a little snowman in too. Then I have got a winter sticker from Marshmallow Studio Co. This came in the advent calendar. I feel like I'm using all my brand new stuff. But yeah, that those like mini kits aren't in the shop yet, but they will be. I am going to do it. I promise. <laughs> and then I've got a winter sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And again, I haven't really thought about the placement of these. This is just this is just my fun put your stickers down page. I, I like this. The darkest nights create the brightest stars. This is, I think this is OK Doodle. Um, I don't really like how big it is, though. So I am going to just fussy cut it a little bit. This might be Oh Hello Feelings Co. Because they've got a similar aesthetic about them, haven't they? Um, better i did pull a few others but i don't think they're going to fit now because i wasn't going to stick that winter sticker right in the middle and then i changed my mind so i was going to use this but i don't think this is going to fit anywhere now and i was also going to use my crazy cuthbert face but i think he can wait for another day now um i'm desperate to use that sticker i just haven't found the right place for it yet so i think i'm going to use some of these little bits and pieces. This 
große Mitte. Just because I'm trying to incorporate more of my own artwork into my planning because I do all of this stuff and then I don't actually like put it in my planner. Um, I think I am doing my very best. This is from Reb Link Co's advent calendar. My sheet was cut all the way through but it doesn't stop me using the stickers and there's nothing wrong with them so mistakes happen. Particularly when you're cutting that many stickers, my goodness me, do mistakes happen. Um, right, what else have I got? So, not only do I have the like quote stickers in the advent, but I also have loads of quote stickers that I've made already. Um, but I haven't added them into the shop yet. Um, just because the photo photographing them is really difficult, and I've tried about three or four times, so I'm just not happy with it. So that's the only reason. I don't think they're going to fit though. I think I haven't left enough room. So that was the colourway that was in the advent calendar. And that's the colourway that's in the shop. Um, I don't know. if I've, I'll probably put that colourway in as well and just have it as an option. So like list the font and the sticker and then, yeah. Um, but I just haven't, I feel like I should have done that. Never mind. Um, I haven't got around to it. I think is the reality um they will be there at some point but i just don't like the photographs and my husband's very very good at photographing stuff so i might try and enlist his help a little bit um just because i need it to i pulled all of these for different project but i'm just going to have a little look through i might just have to go over to smaller ones if i'm honest stationary obsessed I love this. I've got 99 pens, but I can't find one. You never go wrong with the planning folder. Oh, cute. These are cute. This is Happy Bees UK. Yeah, I've completely forgotten what I was saying now. In true Sarah style, I have forgotten what I was saying. There is so much in here. Little pencil. Kind of doesn't really go with the wintery theme. Do I have a winter? I must have a winter folder somewhere. Let's put that there. All right, this is better. Oh, cute. Look at these. They're from Sweet Ava's Papery. This is a chuck stickers at the page business. Little Susie sitting on a little cosy chair. That could be quite nice here. Got loads of once more with love ones. Some more coffee monsters. I've kind of pushed the folder that way as I've been Oh, little Cuthbert in a bobble hat. There you go. That's the one, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Random duck sticker. That doesn't belong in there. Cuthbert in a bobble hat. I feel like I've just gone mad on this page, haven't I? Um, I've got a snowman. Do I want some snow? I might use the snowflakes, you know, and just dot them about. I feel like I've gone from like being really conservative about what I'm using and stuff to go and just get it used it's fun right because I think I did this in my like setup as well and I was doing the like pages of the meal family meals and stuff it's gone a bit mad These little dots are really tricky. I could use tweezers, I suppose. But... Oh, 
but like some of these I've had for years. I don't think I ever really do seasonal spreads either. Like, I always intend to, and then something's going on that makes me go, oh, actually, I'll do a, I don't know, Disneyland spread or a Halloween or Christmas. You know, it's never, like, spring, summer, autumn, winter. I think spring is about the time that I start getting into the seasonal stuff. That's cute. I think that will do, you know. So that is my like January cover page. So last year I used vellums that had all the months on them, but I thought this year I'm going to mix it up a little bit because that is a printable, so I can get some more of those if I want to because um, I've already got the files. Yeah, so I've already got the files for that, but I haven't um, printed any out because I thought, well, actually I've got loads of other vellum to use and I don't. I only use vellum on certain pages, so... I will use up my other stuff instead this year. Um, where's my washi card gone? This is the one thing I always lose is my washi card. Buried under stencils. I've got the floofy clouds tape from Catnip that was a present from Lisa for Christmas. And I'm making my Holly and Charlotte pages. I am keeping up with this page. I do really like it. I basically put in a picture of each of my kids and write some memories about them. So things like Charlotte is very excited to see the cat at the moment and she's like getting out of the car and going cat, 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 instead of going, you know, daddy, like she used to. Um, she's all of a sudden discovered that the cat moves and she likes chasing her around and trying to grab her tail. Um, she's also learned the noise of a monkey. So these are from Timu. They're just cute little, like, what I call pocket animals, um, <laughs> like teeny tiny things. And I just thought they were cute. So I was like, I'm going to use those. The Because um, I'm also trying to use up a variety of things rather than always just using like my like, planner stickers because I've got tons of this sort of thing in my stash. So I'll put a big one up there for Holly. So my Holly and Charlotte labels are from the Grumpy Tortoise. Um, I did used to make my own and I still will make my own when I run out but because I'm doing PR for the Grumpy Tortoise at the moment and I was like Do you know what I can just get Linda to make them for me <laughs> so I did um so yeah that's where they're from there's a discount code in the description Sarah 15 gets you 15 percent off and a freebie um but yeah, so I thought oh, I'll just get Linda to make them for me. But I'll put in like little photographs of the kids um, as well. And then just write, you know, Holly started gymnastics and she's really loving it and all of this sort of stuff. Just depending on what's going on in their lives. Just because I think it's a nice way for me to kind of remember them growing up. And at the same time, like it's not too onerous. Like because I, I do scrapbooks and stuff for them as well. But I don't feel like this is too onerous for me. I feel like this is quite simple and it's only one page in a B6. And by the time I put a photograph in, I really don't have to write very much. Um, so it's just trying to make my life a little bit more straightforward. Right, I was like, what's going on here? But I skipped a page, didn't I? So let's just move that. And let's just move those. Right, so I have chosen. This is going to be my, like, gratitude page and my mood log um but again i'm switching up my mood log just because i'm a bit bored of looking at it and i'm going to try something else but i don't know if it's going to work or not hence the stencils so i'm just using a tape from the coffee monsters Co. to put across the top And I might decide in, you know, next month that I want to add in another page into my setups and all this sort of stuff. But for the moment, I'm quite happy that this covers all the things I need it to cover. And I don't really want to start overcomplicating things. If something works for me, I'm just going to stick with it. That's the Coffee Monsters Co. And then this one is definitely from OK Doodle because it says enjoy this freebie from OK Doodle. And it says self-kindness is calling. So I'm going to put it on my gratitude page. That's something I haven't got out, isn't it? Need some alphas. 
to write my mood log and gratitude at the top. I'll do that in a minute. And then this was from one of the SWPC boxes. Um, and I just thought it was cute, but I don't know if it's going to be too big. Hmm. I might think about that. I might do the bit to trap my mood first. So I got out a stencil. And I'm basically going to draw a load of tea bags um, with my stencil. And I'm going to colour in the tea bags. And I know it's not overly different, overly different from what I've done before, but this is something that I, it just gives me something visually different to fill in, you know. Although it does rely on me use it, being able to use a stencil that I'm not the best at. They look more like gift tags actually maybe if I there you are that works doesn't it so how many of these do I need 31 this month Two. three and they're not all going to be perfect because there's stickers underneath as well and in fact I need a pencil board don't I if you use a pencil board, it makes it all a bit flatter. Except I can't find one right now, typically. Let's give that a try. It's just a laminated piece of tissue paper from Coffee Monsters. I'll tuck it in there. Maybe that will help. But yeah, it's just switching up enough so that I still want to pick up my planner. I don't just want to get stuck into the trap of like do the same thing all the time because that's not exciting, is it? Two, three, four, five, six. I'll probably count, recount these loads, but. So my plan is getting really chunky already. I only just started it. 31, there we go. Right, so what did I do? Just a little thing like this. This is one thing I love about Astrology is that you can just be as creative as you want because it's just free reign, isn't it? The um, And it harks back to my like bullet journal days. So when I first started planning, that's kind of where I started was with a bullet journal. And I just got a notebook, like a cheap notebook. I say cheap, it was from WH Smith, so it was a nice notebook. But it was just a like plastic covered elephant thing because I love elephants. The um, And then I used to just sit and do spreads like this and it was just pen and paper. I didn't do all the stickers and stuff. And then I discovered the happy planner. The um, But Astrology just kind of has that influence of where I started in my planning. And I can do things like this and add in another spread if I want to. And Not that you can't do that with a happy planner, you can. This is just a bit more portable because it's smaller as well. I know I just talked to you about the first thing that pops into my head, but that's part of part of my planning process, I think. Is just to think about things like that. Right, there we go, loads of tea bags. So now where's that? Because that is too big now. Right, so pencil. I just kind of want to do a top of a teacup, don't I? I don't.
this one's a chisel tip, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm just going to go for it. Go. I've got no room for a key. <laughs> it's the only thing. Maybe I could do a little like tipping thing. Where's my rubber? Let's rub out those pencil lines. The only thing about those pens, those fine liner pens that I got from Timu, I don't know if the like proper ones, the like micron whatever ones. Um, do this but when you rub over it with a rubber it does fade slightly um, it doesn't make a difference to me because if I want to go over it again I just go over it again um, right so I want some alphas I've run out of O's on here but that's okay because I have some more somewhere the beauty of them being my own Again, these are from the advent, but they will be in the shop at some point. Um, is that I can make as many as I want and use as many as I want. But I do tend to always stick to the oops ones. Move log. It's quite nice to see something a bit different rather than the starry thing that I normally do. Do I want to put that there? Do I want to put that down? Now, turn it all off that sheet. Use all the G's on there as well. Because the other thing about my up sheets is that they're not overly ups, you know, they're not horrendous, they're just. Right, and then I think I am going to number them. Because otherwise I don't know what day of the week it is, do I? Right, one. Two, three, four. There we go. So I need something with the key on, but I want it to put in my. I could put a sticker on it, couldn't I? Right, because I want to put in that, which is a vellum from Little Pencil Design as well, that again I've had forever. Just trying to think of how to do it. But I really want to use this, so I'm going to use it. I've got two of these as well, because I bought one and my husband bought me one, bless him. <laughs> so this is what I normally do, just kind of fold it around the book so I know where to cut. You would think by now that I knew the exact dimensions of Astology and that I could just pick up my trimmer and I could mark my trimmer with the page bits, but I always just tend to do it this way. I don't really know why. The other thing I've noticed as well since like sorting out my craft shed and stuff is that I'm less worried. I say sorting it out, started to sort it out. I've still got loads to do. Um, but I've started not being bothered by like the little bits of paper. So normally I'd be like, oh, that's really cute though. Like, I don't know, this one's still got like a lot of the design on it. And I'll be like, oh, I'll keep that and I'll use that for something. But this time I'm like, no, that can go. I've used what I wanted to use and it's only paper so I do think that's starting to help me as well because I can't hold on to every single scrap of paper every single piece of packaging and everything in the world I'm getting really cold but I'm nearly done I think I've only got a few 
more bits to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tip this in and then while I decide what I'm going to do about my key, I am just going to put my heater on for a bit and then I'll come back. Only because the sound of my heater is really annoying, like because it's a, like a whirring box heater type thing because it's all I have space for around here because it's not a big space, it's only a small space. I say it's a small space, it's bigger than, you know, I'm very grateful for the space that I have, but it's not a huge shed, it's only a that little corner thing. Oh, bum holes. Right, I have just stuck the tape over one of the bits I'm going to colour in, so I'm just going to trim that down, because otherwise I won't do that day. The other mistake I made when I was setting up my um, book journal is that I kept using the like brush pens as my colour codes, which is fine, but those don't live in my pencil case. Like the reason I always use the clean colour dots for my colour codes is because they live in my pencil case. So I've always got them on hand, like no matter what I'm doing. Um, so I've had to go through and change some of the colours on my reading journal um, by just colouring over the squares that I'd already picked kind of thing. So they don't look the best, but just a like an aid memoir isn't it just to remind yourself of what you meant by each color but i don't pick like three different pinks in different shades i pick did i just put that on back to front no it's really good quality print really good quality the um yeah so i don't pick like three different shades of pink i pick a pink a purple a green a blue you know different properly different colors so if they end up not looking quite the same then that's fine I love this vellum. It's just so pretty. I actually, I'm really pleased with that. I feel like I might colour that in as well, but I'll give it a bit of time. Maybe I'll do it once I've finished colouring in all of this, so I know what colour. I could do it neutral, couldn't I? Right, I'll sit and have a think. I'll put my heater on. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do about my key and what I'm going to do about the teacup as well. Right, guys, so I'm sorry for the whirring noise in the background, but it's too cold for me to not have the heater on anymore. Um... I've decided, I coloured in my teacup um, just with some colour pencils. I kind of made it a grey dotty thing. And I'm going to put my key on one of these sticky notes from Every Minute A Story. And if I want to move it next month, I can. And if not, then the sticky note will just live here. Um, just because I thought the character kind of went with the like teacup theme. Um, just decided where to put it. So I'm just going to stick it down and then I'm going to write my key out. So I need my pen. And if I decide to leave it where it is, I might put some glue on the bottom of the sticky note, depending on how it goes. Right, key. Didn't underline that very underline that very neatly, but never mind. So it's a new year, so I'm just going to start with a new key. Um, probably end up very similar to colours last year because I always choose the same sort of colours. Neutral. Happy, sad, stressed, anxious, neutral. I need one for depressed. I feel like happy's got to be a happy colour, isn't it? Like happy yellow. So, happy. Do I do stressed and anxious together? I'm just sort of thinking they're on the same ballpark, aren't they? Because I'm thinking I need one for tired as well. Depressed. Anxious. 
anxious. Neutral. And then I need one for tired. And I can change this every month if I want to, like the colours and stuff. But there we go. So that's my mood log done. Right, so the next page is my gratitude page. So again, I'm going to just start off by putting the letters at the top. And I am keeping this the same for the moment because I, I like how it... Ah, that's why it's an up sheet. One of my G's isn't cut. <laughs> the, um, yeah, I like how this works for me at the minute. Um, I might switch it up later on in the year, but for the moment, I haven't found anything because I sort of searched Pinterest for inspiration um, and Instagram and stuff. But I haven't found anything yet that I'm like, oh, I really want to do that, other than the sunshine one that you've probably seen, you know, where you do the half sun and you do all the lines. So I might do that at some point, but I don't feel like the sunshine is here yet, so I just don't... Gratitude started too far over but never mind you can get a sticker and put a sticker at the top to fill the space gratitude mood stickers I want something happy and grateful don't I I don't have many of those I've got a lot of um... oh here we go one of these I've got a lot of like misery <laughs> Moods. <laughs> we'll write misery, right? Gratitude. There you go. She's happy, isn't she? That's from Hub Man and Chub Girl. I think I actually got that from Suteki stickers. Um, when she was, when she had that new release, I might have got it from directly from them. Right, and then I need two colours. Go blue and purple. And I just go down the page. Now, my sellotape is on that first column. So, I'm just going to see if I can trim this side down a bit as well. I almost need like a skinnier tape. Just trim off the edge. Because it doesn't matter how neat it is. This is what I'm trying to remind myself as well this year. Like I get into, I fall into the trap. I don't know about you guys. Of like, it's got to look pretty because I do my planning online, and it's like, no, it hasn't. Like I just need to get on with my planning. Right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's about half. Fourteen, fifteen. 16. 16 purple, 15 blue. The, um, yeah, and my whole intention of being in Astrology was that if I didn't have time to, like, set it up and do a, um, full spread, then I could still just turn the page and have, like, a to-do list and stuff. And I fell into the trap last year of it's got to look pretty. And I don't want to do that this year. I love it. My phone was just ringing and I looked at it and I was like, I don't recognise that number. I'm not going to answer. The um, My husband always says, you know that thing of like, if you could phone someone and win a million pounds if they didn't answer, who would you ring? And he's like, I'd ring you. Because <laughs> I never answer my phone. I'm awful. I don't answer my phone. I don't reply to messages. I just... I, it takes up too much of my brain capacity, I think. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then I could just go down and I just write something I'm grateful for every day. And sometimes it's the big things and sometimes it's the little things. And I always end up with a space. I feel like I want to fill the space. Note to self, you are loved. There you go, Rebel Co. 
Right, and then the last page I'm going to do, because I'm not doing my health tracker this year, is my brain tabs page. Now, I have chosen this washi tape because I think it goes quite nicely with these stickers from the Grumpy Tortoise. Um, it was a like sticker pack she was doing for the like Black Friday sales. Um, so if you ordered with her, I'm just gonna start that again because that was really wonky. Um, yeah, if you ordered with her over that weekend, then you got tiered freebies, and she's just done another one, another sale like that. So always keep an eye out on her Instagram because not only do you get the tiered freebies, if you use one of the like PR codes as well, you get like one of our freebies um, or like an extra freebie chucked in. So one of our freebies, we don't really have like the traditional freebie selection. The, um, yeah, when it comes to like answering my phone, I'm always like, well, if it's important, they'll leave me a message, like, and then I can ring them back, which again, I'm pretty useless at, but. All right, so this is my brain tabs page. So I've designed this sticker that says, my brain has too many tabs open. So I thought it'd be a good one, rather than just writing the words brain tabs across the top. I am literally just gonna stick that down. And then what I do with this page is have loads of sticky notes. So if I, anything pops into my head, this is the light sticker pack from the Grumpy Tortoise. I just love the colors of it. I just think it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna go for like the planner type ones rather than the dragony ones. I wanna use that with that O Biscuit sticker I've got from um, the Bluey quote. But I just chuck some stickers down and then I just use sticky notes and go, right, I need to do this, I need to do that. And I think to myself, I might actually just do that, you know. Do I want to use all the blue? Yeah, I want to use all the blue. So something pops into my head and I don't know where to put it in my planner. It goes on here. And historically, I've had a page of sticky notes in my planner ready to go. But what I'm going to do differently this time is just put a few down in here so I can just scratch it out when I need to because um, I started doing that towards the end of the year and I found it really helpful. Plus then I've got the sticky notes that I want to use rather than going, oh, I don't want to use that one. I want to use the ones that are in the shed, but I don't want to go out to the shed and get it. So I just won't bother writing it down and then I forget about it. Um, so I've got some of the wintry post-its from the Coffee Monsters Co. So I'm just going to stick a few of these in and I just literally put them on the page so that they are there ready, which I'm finding really helpful. They feel a bit sticky on the top is the only thing, so it might make the pages stick together. Let's do this. Might have one of these guys because I've got them out. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I do like layer them up anyway because I always end up with so much stuff in here of things I've got to do. Um, and then I've got my Hello Kitty ones. It tucked in here. So I always do have a few on hand anyway because I keep this like sticky note dashboardy thing. I think I'm going to move that one down. tucked into the pocket in the front and then I'll put one of these guys in oh I've got one of these already haven't I that I've already pulled where have I put it I don't want to waste them and then if I don't write on that many then that's fine I might swap these around just so I can see them to start off with and then if I need to layer over I can There we go, so a few sticky notes ready to go. And that is my January setup done, except for my tabs, so I've got to find them. I need to get a pencil board as well. What's that sticking out? A bit of washi tape on the edge. Let's just trim that down. Oh, and the other thing I've got, actually, now I think about it, on the next page, say the next page, I obviously skipped one, is a bunch of these, so... 
I have made these um, and I said I am going to sell them in the shop again they went in the advent calendar there's one that says notes somewhere there it is all these little bits of backing paper look I'm so messy the um so the one that says notes I'm going to put on my brain tabs page so I know where to find it nice and easily and then I've got one for in fact I don't want it there I want it on that side So I can go right notes there yeah that's it and then we've got one that says month but again I don't know where I've put it let me find it I've also got today to do it and week and then there's one that says month so in a pack you get a set of five um but I think I am going to do them as like random colors rather than because they're all pastel so they all go nicely together um rather than doing like a whole pack of pink or a whole pack of green or what have you unless by special request um but i am going to put them in the shop because i think they're quite a unique product and i'm really proud of them so why wouldn't i right i don't know where i've put the month one then i'm going to put this one on here for like this week even though this isn't this week because of course i've got a back plan now um do you back plan i love back planning right it's just easy <laughs> i'm just like what did i do <laughs> i mean i have written it down like as I've been going along so week and then I've got today and to do um so actually I wonder if I used to do for my I might used to do instead but they literally are just like a little page marker thing that you loop over the top of your page and I think they stick out quite nicely so that you can genuinely see where they are the only issue I've found is higher up than like a planner cover but again if I'm just opening up my planner then I can go right to do I need to go to that page and then it will bring up my sticky notes or I want to go to this week or because I do like a this week page or I want to go to today then I can use my today one um, and then I'm going to have a month one as well but actually I put a tab on the side so I might not use that one quite as much um, but that is my January setup. So that's my like calendar page. I don't really do anything with that other than look at the dates when I'm like planning the weeks. So I know I've got the right date dot on there. And then that's my like sticker dashboard, my Holly and Charlotte pages, my new mood log. I'm really proud of that actually. I really like that. Um, my gratitude page, my brain tabs page, and then getting into the first week of Jan. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and you want to see some more from me then hit the subscribe button down below because I'd love to have you back. Take care everyone, bye!